welcome back friends today i am going to show you how to add items to combo box drop down in bba user form and here i am going to show you two methods of adding items to the combo box first one is add item method and second is the row source property method there are other methods of adding the items to combo box also but these two are the most commonly used let me go to the developer tab then visual basic here i have created this user form where there is expenses category drop down and in this expenses category combo box when i click on this button here you see the items are given here or the category names are given here i can select any category name that will go in the combo box let's start with the process of doing this let me close this user form then create here a new user form in this box sheet click on the insert tab then click on user form here you see user form 2 is created let me increase the size of the user form in the user form let me add here a label by going to this toolbox click on the label click in the user form and here let me write day selection now here let me create a combo box drop down by clicking on this combo box option then draw it over here now to add the days here in the combo box first of all apply the add item method for that double click on the user form and here in the user form click event change this to user form initialize event this will create the code here now to add the items here write this code with me dot then put the name of the combo box that is combo box one then press enter press the tab key then put here dot add item put a space then add here the first day name that is sunday so put here double quotes sunday double quotes then press enter to add the second item or second day put here dot add item space then put here double quotation monday double quotation following the same method add here all the days till saturday After adding all the dates, press enter, then press the backspace key, then put here end with, then press enter. Now, when you run the user form, these items will be added to the combo box. Let me double click on this user form 2, run the user form. Now, when I click on this button, here you see, I can select any day that will go in the combo box. So this is the first method of adding the items to combo box in VVA user form. Let's look into another method that is the row source property method. To use the row source property method, first of all, in a range of the worksheet, create the list of the items that you want to add to the combo box. For that, here in the sheet 1, let me write here from Sunday to Saturday. The items to be added in the combo box is in the A1 to A7 range of seat 1. Now go to the visual basic. Then add here a new combo box drop down. By clicking here. Then draw the combo box over here. Right click on it. Then go to properties. Here in the properties of the combo box. You can see a row source property. That is given here. In the row source we have to provide the range where the items to be added are in the seat that is seat 1 then put the exclamation symbol then provide the range where there is the items that is from a1 cell to a7 cell now you can close the properties window run the user form now if you click on this second drop down here you see from sunday to saturday are given this is given from this range so that was all about the methods of adding items to the combo box drop down of vba user form thank you so much for watching this video see you in next tutorial